everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of the year once again and festival season is coming up and I've been invited to the Renio Twingo Access All Areas music gig with KTB performing. So this calls for a night out slash festival makeup tutorial. So I'm going to be creating this fun and bright makeup look. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this video to see how I did this look and at the end I'm going to be showing you my outfit as well. So before starting this video, I already applied my foundation and my eyebrows. For my foundation, I used the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. And the eyebrows I just filled in with my Brow Beater Pencil by Urban Decay. So now I'm going to skip straight into some bronzer to add a little bit of warmth to my face. And for this, I'm using the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. And this bronzer is really good because it's quite cool toned, so it gives you that natural kind of sun-kissed glow rather than it looking quite orange. I'm reaching for this Too Faced blush and this is such cute packaging. It's in the shape of a heart and this is really nice orangey and pinky blush which has a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the apples of my cheeks. And to finish off the skin nicely I'm going to go in with a highlight to add a little bit of glow to my face and what I'm using is the 17 Instant Glow Shimmer Brick. I'm just going to apply that to the highest point of my cheeks just to add a little bit more dimension back into my face as well as a nice healthy dewy glow. So now for the star of the show which are the eyes of course I'm going to be using this Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon bon Palette and this is so gorgeous. I created a look with this on my Instagram and a lot of you have requested for me to do some looks with this palette so I thought I would use it today. But firstly I'm going to prime my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the anti-aging one. So firstly from this palette I'm going to be using the shade Divinity which is this matte white shadow and I'm going to place that all over the lid just to set the primer in place. The next shadow I'm going to be using is this one here which is called Almond Truffle and I'm going to be placing that into the crease as our transition shade. Next I'm going to deepen up that crease colour with this shade here which is called Mocha. So I'm just taking that on the same brush and just diffusing that through the crease. And then I'm just going back and forth and back and forth trying to blend all the shades together and building up that shadow mocha in the outer corner. So now that we've built up that subtle depth within our eyes, I'm going to go in with the shade Bordeaux, which is like this brown shade with a red undertone to it. And what we want to do is lightly blend this through the crease as well. But when I say lightly, I mean literally so lightly because this is quite a dark shade, so you don't want to mess up your whole look with this. And this shadow is just going to start adding that pink and red undertone to the eyes. Next I'm going to be taking the shadow Sprinkles and also Cotton Candy which are the two pink shades. This one's slightly lighter than this one. And what we're going to be doing is creating a slight gradient with this. So applying Sprinkles into the inner corner of our eye and then gradually moving on to Cotton Candy through the centre of our lid. So I'm just really packing on that colour because we want the colour payoff to be really pigmented. And I'm also pulling that slightly into the inner corner. Then I'm moving on to the shadow candy and just patting that into the centre of our lid whilst blending it with the sprinkles shadow. I'm now going to go back into Bordeaux and Mocha and blending these two shadows together. I'm just going to touch up the crease and build up the pigment in the outer corner as we may have lost some pigmentation whilst blending everything together. blended everything together I'm going to go in with this pink shade called Totally Fetch. I know, so Mean Girls, right? Stop trying to make fetch happen, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I freaking love Mean Girls. So with this shadow I'm going to be going into the crease just to add that hint of pink colour running through the crease. And I'm trying to focus this on the outer corner of our crease as well as the outer corner of our lid. I'm not taking it into this inner corner at all. I'm now going to be lining up my waterline as well as my lower lash line with this Blue Makeup Forever eyeliner to add a pop of blue to our lower lash line. So I'm now just going to clean up the edges of my eyeshadow with a makeup remover. I'm now going to line my eyes with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in shade Perversion. Now to finish off the eyeliner, I'm going to be creating a wing with this Maybelline New York Gel Liner. Now for my 
lashes, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara just to prep my lashes for the fake lashes that are going to go over the top. And now for lashes, I'm going to be using these Ardell Natural Demi Wispy Lashes. Lastly for the lip, I'm going to combine this lip liner from Gosh in shade Antique Rose with this Urban Decay Lipstick in shade Native. So this is the final look. I actually really like how it turned out. It's not something I would usually wear, but I think it's really pretty and girly. And now moving on to the outfit. My jacket, top, and bag are all from Urban Outfitters, and my jeans are from BDG. And lastly for the shoes, I went with some Doc Martens because I feel like you can't go wrong by wearing Docs to a festival. And that is all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Massive thanks to Renee Twingo for inviting me to this festival as well as lending me that gorgeous car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!